last night I was racking my brain for something cool and quick that I could crochet because I haven't uploaded a video in forever. And I remembered that crochet cat couches exist. So I went down the cutest rabbit hole ever. And I thought that's what I wanted to do, but then I got to thinking, what about crochet cat wing back chairs? Why don't those exist? So that's what I'm gonna attempt to do today. I do have four cats, so they're gonna have to fight over this chair or I'm gonna have to make three more eventually, but today I'm only gonna make one. And also I'm gonna do my best to make this one tonight. <laughs> it is 7.30 p.m. And I told myself that I wanted to start this at like noon, but here we are. Uh, I usually don't go to sleep until like four or 5 a.m. anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I have a lot of day left and I'm gonna try to just sit here in my kitchen and finish it tonight. Maybe that's Delulu of me. I have like no perception of how long crafts take. I always think like, yes, I can do this tonight and then it ends up taking me like five days. But it seems like it's gonna be pretty small. I'm, I wanna make it like cat size. Like it's gonna be a little chair. So I think maybe I can do it. Okay, so here's my reference photo. I have scoured the Google and this is my favorite wing back chair design that I could find. I have all of this extra yarn from my Selena Gomez dress video that I've been trying to figure out what to do with and this yarn is covered in cat hair anyway so it's the perfect yarn to use on this project. My chair is just going to be multicolored, which is fun. I think that'll fit right in. I also have this big ass box of polyfill sent to me by the craft queen herself, Joanne, along with some other cool things. And I did film myself opening the box that they sent me and that will be in a future video coming pretty soon. So stay tuned for that. I'm so grateful that they sent me anything. Like that was the coolest thing that's ever happened to me. So thank you, Joanne Fabrics. <laughs> okay, so the chair, I think I'm gonna need five main pieces. The bottom piece, the cushion that goes on top of that, the two arm pieces, and then the wing back, and then also four little mm, somethings for the feet. Color wise, I think I'm gonna do the feeties in this dark yellow. And then everything else, I don't really have it planned out. I guess I'll start with this dark red for the bottom of the chair and then I'll figure it out from there. It doesn't really matter. Okay, I really don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> just generally ever. I don't have a pattern that I'm following. I'm just gonna make it up and I'm just gonna make it as simple as I can. I'm not gonna like taper it. Like the chair in the picture looks a little bit tapered. I'm just gonna make it a square, but I'm gonna start with the bottom piece and I'm just gonna chain until I think it looks big enough for my cat's ass. <laughs> this would be really cool to actually make for a human size. If this works, maybe I'll do that. And if this does work, I will write the pattern out because I know all the other crazy cat ladies are out there being like, I wanna make a wing back chair for my cat. That's my bestie. That cat should be sitting in luxury. And I agree. Is this big enough for my cat's little ass? Let me go find a cat. They're all relatively the same size. I'm just trying to make a little mock up here. It would be like, okay, I think this is perfect actually, but let me get a cat. Who wants to be my test subject? I just want to see if you fit right on this. Can you just... Mm, that might be a little small. You'd fit, but you'd have to scrunch. Okay, you can go now. He's just gonna stay here now. <laughs> okay, can I have this though? Without you thinking that it's fun? No. Just <laughs> It's not fun. We're not having fun. I just realized what the smartest idea would be would be to make it the size of their cat bed that I know they fit in. I am not gonna show you said cat bed because it is absolutely encrusted with cat hair, but I'm gonna go measure it. This will work. This is 71 chains. I'm now realizing this is gonna take a long time because if I wanna make this a perfect square and I do 70 freaking rows on this, mm, that's gonna take a while. See, that's what I'm saying. I don't know how long things will take. Should I really make it this big? Maybe I should make it smaller. This is actually a little bit bigger than their cat bed. Okay, nope, I'm taking it down by this much. Brought it down to 51 little chain stitches, which still sounds intimidating, but it sounds a lot better than 70. So I'm just gonna single crochet 50 rows. I'm gonna do a single crochet so that the stitches are like as tight as possible so that the cats can't get to the fluff because we know that cats do like to destroy. Thank you. 
And so began my cat chair journey. Hi, I'm Liz from the future. <laughs> and little did I know back then that I would embark on a six day crochet project where I would crochet nothing but four-sided shapes. That night I almost finished the bottom cushion and the cats were already obsessed with it. I don't know if they knew that it was for them or if they're just entitled assholes. Probably the latter. <laughs> On day two, I hardly filmed anything at all, just a few clips on my phone. I think I was feeling depressed. I was feeling like, why am I starting this project? I thought it was only gonna take me a few hours, and now I can see that it's going to take me several days. On day two, I did finish both of the square sitting cushions, though. On day three, I started making the arms, and basically, I was just making little yarn pita pockets. And this is super easy. First, you chain as long as you want to make the pocket. Then you turn and single crochet along the chain as you normally would. When you get to the end, however, you add an extra single crochet to that last chain and you use that to turn your work around. And then you start to single crochet on the bottom side of the chains. And again, you add an extra single crochet to that last chain. You'll know you're doing it right when it looks like that gross Metapod Pokemon. Then you just crochet around and around in a circle until you get the height that you want for your pocket. This is also a great way to make little purses or little makeup pouches. You can add a little flap onto the top and a little button. I've done that a lot and that's actually where I got the idea to make the arms like this. Wow, I am bad at filming the process of things. This is the top pillow. I've had to Frankenstein this thing because I only have like small amounts of each yarn. I think this pillow fluff is in my throat. So here's the bottom part covered in cat hair because the cats love this already. Then this, I think I'm gonna have it blue side up. But basically what I did for both of these pillows is I just crocheted a square. And then you do a row of back loop only so it kind of curves. Okay, hold on bitch, you're being confusing. Let me give you a little bit of a visual here. What you want to do is crochet your shape and then go around your shape with a single crochet. If there are corners on your shape, you're going to do three in each corner to round them off. Then you're gonna go all the way around again, only in the back loops of each of these single crochets. So you're gonna stick your crochet hook just in that back loop and do a single crochet in the back loop only or in the blow, as the crochet patterns call it, all the way around. Your blow round starts to create these little walls and those are gonna be the sides of your pillow. So once you do one round that's in the back loop only, then you start going around doing normal single crochets until the height of your pillow or like the width, the fluff of your pillow is to your liking. Once you've built your walls up as much as you want, I only did two rows on this little guy, you make another piece exactly the same size and you do the single crochet along the border but you don't do the back loop thing on this one. It's just a flat square that you are going to slip stitch on top. Once you've gone almost all the way around, leave a little bit of a hole so that you can stuff it. And you can leave it like this if you want it to be very flat and very square. But if you want it to be more pillowy, you're gonna flip it inside out through that little hole that you left. You're gonna fill it with the filling of your choice. You will have left a little bit of a tail of your last thread. You're gonna take a darning needle and you're gonna sew it up. And voila, there is your little pillow. Now back to past Liz. I have my ginormous box of fluff here, which grew like seven times bigger than it was. And then I'm just gonna close it up with a slip stitch. On day four, I started on the little feet. I did these the exact same way as the square cushions, except round. I found a tutorial on YouTube for a flat circle. I'll link that below. But I just crocheted that flat circle, then I built up the sides with the back loop thing, and then I crocheted another circle and put that on top. 
Then I got to work on the arms, which was so much harder and more frustrating than I ever could have imagined. <laughs> Through editing magic, it looks like I figured this out right away, but I took these apart so many times trying to get it right. I basically rolled them into big Swiss cake rolls and then sewed the spirals down. Also, you notice yourself doing the weirdest shit when you're spending hours editing yourself doing crafts. I don't know why I always make this face. But yeah, these sucked. I was over it. I stuffed them, I sewed them up, and I went to bed. <laughs> On day five, I crocheted the entire back piece and I showed none of it because I really suck at having the motivation to set up my camera and film something when I'm dragging myself through crocheting yet another fucking rectangle. <laughs> because that back piece ended up having a lot of white in it, I decided to add a white trim to a bunch of the other pieces to try to make everything a little bit cohesive. Of course, this piece is all just scrap yarn, so it's all just kind of Frankenstein together, but I thought that the white trim might help it kind of look like it all made sense. It was late as hell or early, whatever definition you want to go by, but I really wanted to finish this project. So I forced myself to crochet the very last piece, which was the back of the wing back portion of the chair. I stayed up until like at least 6 a.m. finishing this, but I was so stoked that it was done. I slip stitched it all together and I went to bed. Wow, hi. This has been quite the journey. <laughs> it has been like six days of non-stop crocheting to get to this point. You may remember at the beginning of this video I said, oh I'm just gonna sit here in my kitchen and crochet this tonight. And I'm gonna try to just sit here in my kitchen and finish it tonight. And I thought I was gonna crochet this entire stupid chair in one night. I've been trying to be nicer to myself and do like the manifestation thing, so I'm trying to think of a way to say nicely that I was a silly bitch. <laughs> because, wow, I've been doing nothing but crocheting this. It's not even that great but it's almost done. Already covered in hair because my cats love it already and they've been laying on it a ton. And the only thing that I have left to do is stuff this back piece and then assemble the whole thing. So this is the back. Right now it looks a little bit like a trapezoidal pillowcase. I've got it slip stitched together all the way around except for this one opening. I'm gonna flip this guy inside out so that it's a little puffier. I've noticed that if you don't flip it inside out, stays very square and if you do flip it inside out it's more pillowy fluffier i'm just gonna put a bunch of this fluff in and then sew up this hole and put it all together and my god we will be done finally i have honestly never been so sick of crocheting not even when i crocheted the selena gomez dress i think this was more work than that entire dress honestly i even had more fun with the red fair dress which did take me like weeks this was just so redundant, I think. It was just all single crochets, all like squares, aside from these fun little feet. I kept these pretty flat, just so the cats have like an easier time laying on them. At first I filled this one up way too much and the cats wanted nothing to do with it, I think, because it was like too high up. But for this back piece, they're obviously not gonna be sitting on this. I mean, they probably are. They're probably gonna destroy this thing. <laughs> but uh, I want this to like, really keep its shape on the back. Okay, I think this is good. Now I'm just gonna sew my handy dandy pocket needle. Just a little darning needle, sew up the side and tuck these little strings in. Are you excited? This is so stupid. I have to figure out how to attach it all now. I've been dreading this moment for six days. <laughs> I have this black yarn that I'm gonna use to attach everything. Hopefully it'll blend in well enough. This is the only yarn I have left. I used the entirety of my Selena Gomez dress scrap yarn, which is what I wanted to do. And that's why this chair looks weird because it's just all scraps. Everything is like a million different colors. It's for cats. I think they're colorblind anyway. And honestly, it kind of matches our environment. 
I feel like I want to sit on the ground. Excuse me. Can I sit here? Welcome to the floor of my living room. This is the darkest room ever, and also there's probably like cat hair on the ground, but I have four cats, so we're just gonna have to live it and love it. To be quite frank, I am severely over it. <laughs> it's like midnight, I think, and I'm just gonna try real hard to get this thing sewed together. Sewed? Sewn? Together? Whatever. So, these little dingleberries are the feet. I wanted to keep them really flat and squishy so that it didn't really raise it off the ground. I just wanted the appearance of feet. And I did have to make a fifth one to put in the center because it's like pretty saggy considering it's just pillow fluff and yarn. <laughs> Bam. Okay. Feets are on. I'm going to sew this on now. <laughs> and I don't think I'm gonna go all the way around with it. I think I'm just gonna like maybe secure it in the corners. Okay, that worked perfectly and took a whole lot less time than going all the way around the feet. So I'm gonna do the same thing with these arms. <laughs> I'm stuck. The feet were the only part that I actually fully secured. I was honestly intimidated by this part of the project and by this point I wanted to scream. So I kind of half assed it and I do need to go back and secure everything a little bit better, but I think overall it was assembled pretty well. I finished the assembly in the wee hours of the morning, are we surprised? And I was exhausted, but did I throw my crochet hooks in the trash and go to sleep? No, absolutely not. I crocheted my ungrateful cats a tiny pillow for their tiny chair. And then I went to sleep. I was super excited to get up the next day and film my finished creation finally in some natural lighting. I decided to set them up like they had a tiny little apartment with a tiny little painting that I painted years ago of a little mouse because they love little mice and some little cat butt crochet coasters that my friend made me and a picture of the only two people that they know. They even had a little cat litter side table to hold their favorite snacks. At first, those brats wanted nothing to do with this chair. Somebody come sit in the chair. Hey, Scooby, come here. Scooby, the chair's so much more comfortable. I'm grateful. Come on, somebody please sit in the chair. Jasper, I just need a little bit of B-roll, buddy. Stay in the chair. <laughs> Jasper. Jasper, no. God, you wanna get in the chair? Hey, cooperate with me. Chubby, it's okay. Hey, look. Chubby. Come on, Scoop. There you go. Look, buddy. Here you go. Aren't you enjoying yourself? Great job! Yay! Oh, he loves it. When did we get a cow? Is this my apartment? Oh, good boy, Scoop. Scoopy. Do you love your couch, buddy? It's been like a week now since I have completed the project and they're fighting over the wing back now. They love it. They're always lounging in it. That's your new apartment, Mo. <laughs> Look who's in the chair. I didn't even force him into the chair. He's just taking a nap. Good job, Jasper. You made me so happy today. Hi. Do you like the bed? Everybody's taking a nap in the bed except Mo. Good girl. Mo. Mo, good job. As for my final thoughts on this project, I will most definitely not ever be making another one of these and especially not making three more of these like I said I might do at the beginning of this video. <laughs> I think it was a great way to use up some scraps and it was really fun to come up with my own pattern but it was so monotonous. It took forever. I was so over it by the end. I think it did come out really cute though so I guess it was worth it. I'm gonna go start on a new project that'll test my patience and make me want to quit crocheting forever so if you want to be here for the next journey subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye!